here. So that is indicative of uh, <coughs> keratoconus. There's an iron ring here, a yellowish, greenish ring there. And in advanced cases, there's scarring if there's past high drops. On retinoscopy, if a dilated pupil is there, you see a typical round uh, oil droplet uh, sign. And also, if you're doing a refraction, you can see a scissors reflex. Uh, with the advent of video keratography, it's become easier because all these have uh, indices where immediately it will show that the keratoconus is so much percentage and the magnitude is this much. And uh, basically, to explain that, there's the localized increased surface power. Most of the cones are in the inferior temporal aspect, and this red area where you see is decentered and it is elevated. This is a typical keratoconus picture. There's an inferior superior dab asymmetry. If you take a horizontal line here, there is a significant diaptric difference between both, um, not quadrants, but hemi, -qua hemi quadrants. And then skewing of the steepest radial axis above and below. Normally, if it's a ASIC maxima on both sides, it will be a typical uh, butterfly pattern. But here, this axis is here, and this axis is here. So that different axis on each uh, half is indicative of keratoconus. Next slide, please. And if you, in screening for refractive surgery, nearly 2 to 5 percent of people turn out to be either former frustic keratoconus, that is keratoconus which has stopped midway, or it is frank keratoconus. And these are the indices which take all these into consideration, a set of indices, and then it gives a percentage so that you immediately will know and it's, your life is made easier rather than do all the calculations. Next slide, please. Uh, this is one of the ectatic disorders and probably belongs to a range of ectatic disorders. The different ectatic disorders are here keratoconus, which is the central ectasia, and then this is pellucid marginal degeneration where there is inferior thinning. You see that there is, there is a thin area here, and sometimes it is advanced stages in the superior area also. And the next one is keratoglobus, where is this uniformity, there is no uh, ectasia, but the whole cornea is big and uh, thin. Let's get to the nose. Inside, please. The tree 